Hello guys, welcome to Khan's Scary Cat. We will another tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we will be learning about curves and composite curves and project curve. If you want this file, you can request in the comment section. So let's move further and start our start solving our problem. This problem is most probably taken from book of SOLIDWORKS 2016 Advanced Techniques and let's solve this problem now. We can take the dimensions from this drawing. We already have this part available we are only going with the projected curve and composite curve options so let's start with this projected curve problem you can get the dimensions of the helix from here you know to make the spiral groove structure we'll start with the helix so, to start with the helix, uh, we need prerequisite, which is a circle of the same diameter that of the helix. Now, to go with the helix, initially we want we, we need a reference geometry, a plane. Initially, we will define a plane, and we'll start our helix from this plane. Now, as we have defined the plane 1, we should go to sketch options and we draw a circle on the periphery. Now, this is the baseline for our helix. We exit the sketch and now move towards the curves and make the helix. Now, you can see that the helix is in the upward direction. You want to make the helix on downward direction you, you click on you check this reverse direction option and it will move towards the opposite side in order to get the dimensions you need to refer to the book so the required pitch is like 0 0.073 which we can enter here 0 0.073 and required revolutions are 1.75 yes and star angle is 15 degrees so the direction of the rotation is counterclockwise so we should click on the counterclockwise our helix is done now you should click OK so that's our helix. You can uh, now we start with the upper portion with this with this curve. We need to actually know the dimensions. Okay, it's starting from here and then it ends by 15 degree. Okay. Now we will sketch on this plane. We make, we make it perpendicular to the viewing an angle. Now, we we'll start the sketch. But first, you need to confirm that your your helix is at the same point. Yeah, it is. It. Yeah, okay. So first, you need to confirm that. Now. You should draw a line, a construction line, and uh, use, it, use, it, use it for construction. Okay, now you should give it the angle, the required angle that is 15 degrees. This angle. Now 
you should make a circle here you should choose the center of this to make the circle and now you should you would be adding relations by making a tangent to the outer periphery like this and again make it tangent to this line also okay so our circle uh, is tangent now to both of these lines and we can trim the excess trim you should use the trim command move the extra and that's it you will your required sketch is complete now now what we will do is we will project this curve now to project the curve you should go to the curves options and click on the project curve project curve and we will use sketch on faces initially you should select the sketch and then the surface that you want to project. Remember to select both of these surfaces, faces. Click OK. So the curve is not, the curve is not projected. We some problem here. We cannot see it. We cannot see the curve because it's in, it has been projected on the opposite side. So let's let's go back. And let's 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 apply this command again. Okay, go to the project curve. Click on the sketch surfaces, right? And use the reverse projection. Now you can see that. That's it. The sketches completely projected onto the both surfaces right now as we have to start the groove from this point we would be extending this line a little further in order the groove to be accommodated so we should extend this line to the origin till here we should exit the sketch so uh, so far our sketch is complete now now the point is to move towards the composite curve. Now what is a composite curve? Composite curve basically combines all the curves into a single entity because for the sweep command you need a single entity line and you need a continuous line. So the project composite curve will combine all types of curve into a single entity. So now you, send, you, you can select all the entities to join. This is a simple sketch this is the projected curve that we already made and this is the helix but remember that they must be lying on the same point like like this point they both were lying at 15 degrees so they lie on the same point so then they can be combined to form a composite curve we click on ok and now we can see that we got a single entity curve from all of our sketches now to move further we we need to we need to draw these grooves. So we already have these dimensions here. The diameter of the this groove is 0 0.058. So here we go to the sketch options. We sketch the diameter on the front plane. We make it perpendicular. We go to the circle option. We draw a circle, then we go to the smart dimension and we dimension it 0 0.058. Right? So we can confirm it again, that's 0 0.058. Now we exit our sketch. As we exit our sketch, now we should go to the 
sweep cut command and initially we select the profile we want to sweep and then the profile so you can see that the profile is, is easily swept cut now we click ok confirm and we get the required sweep command apply so uh, now at the end we need to proceed this thing further so you can go to simply sketch option sketch on this plane and draw a simple circle here and then simply extrude cut it move it a little further that's it so this is the thing that we required that's it So uh, I hope you like the tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please drop it in the comment section. If you want any file uh, also mention it in the comment section I will be much obliged to provide you these files and if you need if you don't understand it at any point do mention it in the comment section. So guys peace out.